Hello, my name is Barry. I'd like to welcome you to a review of Battlefield of the Mind uh, by Joyce Myers. Yes, our mind is a battlefield. <laughs> haven't you read or well, haven't you heard? <laughs> we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities who do not like the thing that God wants to do uh, through us and with us. That's a simple fact of scripture itself. <laughs> and Joyce, back in 2000, when she actually wrote the book, did something very helpful to me, uh, especially at that time. Because my mind was riddled with a lot of negative thinking. And no, I'm not a fan of no negativity, all positive. This is not new age. No, but I'm not going to ignore practical help that's given, okay? You take the good and you spit out the bad. I say this because I am well aware of the battlefield uh, that people raise just when they hear a name. Let's get some real facts, shall we? Would you like some real truth from somebody who actually did suffer from depression, low, low self-esteem? I really I thought of myself as a third-class citizen. That's how bad it was. And all these other fear of rejection, all this stuff, I didn't suffer the abuse and heart that she did. However, I had my own battles to deal with. So a book like this was very helpful to me at that time. Believe me, I wasn't interested in theology at the time. It was more like, somebody save me! Help! Okay, that's where I was at that time in my life. So a book like this was interesting. I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I blindly listened to everything she read, everything she said. She didn't have an audio book at the time. <laughs> However, I did read, and the part that I that was helpful, I took, and the other was more like, okay, I'm going to put this over here. I don't know what to do with it. That was the approach. What did I, uh, now that I already told you why I was reading it and where I'm at today is this. It was more like my mentality is, thanks, Joyce. I appreciate you helping me at that time. Thanks for getting off your butt because I had a hard time finding anybody else who was doing the same thing. <sighs> but, but that was my view today. Now, let's get down to the meat. The book, if you read the table of contents, it's broken up to three sections. And I think that you actually read through uh, with, this, with that set up in mind. First, she explains what's going on, the, the underlying principle. Yes, your mind is a battlefield. The enemy, the devil, does not uh, like the thing that God wants to do through you. And not everybody's called to an online ministry or some big thing. Sometimes it's just being a, a teacher. And just to not recognize that, okay, I do need to take every thought captive and subject them to, to God's word. Yes, that is scripture. He talks about that. And in fact, the book quotes scriptures all throughout. So I would encourage you to not just say, wow, this is great, but rather, oh, wow, wait, let me check. Do you Scripture actually saying that? Let me go read my Bible translation and see what's going on. She's using the Amplified. That's why you're going to see a bunch of extra words. But I would encourage you to read your Bible because that's the good thing. Don't just read a great book uh, like this, or even if it don't feel it's so great, read the, read the Word of God. But it is the Word of God that will break the yoke of the enemy. It is the Word of God that it will set you free, for it is the truth, the scripture, that will set you free. She's just pointing you to some things that would be of value, what she is, but you still have to do the work. 
That's one. And I really recommend that. <laughs> Firmly. I was thinking that, and she actually, it seems she indicated it. Two, here's the other part. She actually said it herself on, on the third part, I think. Uh, not so much the second, I think. But here's the thing. Pray. Talk with Jesus about what you're reading. Don't just say, oh, wow, that's great. Uh, okay. Talk with him. Talk with the Lord about what you're reading and what's going on. Because you know the kind of battlefield you have going on and it's not going to be necessarily the same as mine. <laughs> Chances are you might have depression, but it's not the one where I had, where I thought like, oh, people don't don't value people like me. They think I'm garbage. That was my mentality. You probably don't have that. You probably have some other things you're dealing with. Talk with the Lord. He's able to point you in the right direction. He's able to use things like this to help you. But ultimately, you got to talk with him. Trust the Holy Spirit to lead you and direct you and guide you. But Jesus did say in the scripture, the Holy Spirit will guide you to all truth. Hmm. That, that thing, and I appreciate it, Joyce, that's what we're saying there. I appreciate the, and I, that she didn't just say, because I am aware of, of the word of faith, I am aware of all that stuff. <laughs> I appreciate her saying, uh, and she actually said it a couple of different places, hey, if you're sick, dude, you're sick. Admit it. Say, okay, yeah, I got a cold. It but is not, but it but ain't staying. In the name of Jesus, stand on the promise of healing that you that the Lord heal. Receive the wisdom, like he might tell you, uh, supernatural healing. Or he may say, hey, man, why don't you go get that night quill you have sitting in the medicine cabinet, okay? <laughs> or talk to trust the Lord. That's what it is. He doesn't say that. She doesn't say, oh, pretend that, no. To just say, go, you have a problem. To admit it. It's okay. I appreciate her doing that. With uh, At one time, I would have been surprised. Now, no, because she does uh, know how to communicate some sense. <laughs> and she loved to challenge people because she knows full well there are a lot more people like you and me who are going to like, eh, wait a minute, Joy. She knows that. So she deliberately will challenge you to think uh, through. And that's good. And I would encourage you to think through. Because that's part of what uh, winning the battle in the mind. Hmm. I would encourage that. If you need to, talk with your pastor. Get some help in cleansing. And perhaps there are other book. And if you're watching this video and you just happen to know that, oh, let's say Charles Stanley uh, has this wonderful set of books that maybe you feel is even better, put it in the comment. Put it in there. Say, you know what? This is a better alternative to this. Maybe you know someone like can fit. I don't know. But you get the idea? That's how you help others because others will benefit from that <laughs> regardless of what you may think. <laughs> That's being constructive and solving. That's the other thing to uh, challenge you to think and ask questions like, oh, well, what the a more constructive way rather than go, ah, wah, wah, wah. Appreciate all that stuff. And yes, there is an audio version of this book. I would suggest uh, reading that and having your Bible at hand. So when she quotes the scripture, you can look it up for yourself. What if it's in... Uh, on your phone or elsewhere. Hmm. All right, I want to thank you for your time. Hope this video was of value and hope you have a blessed day. See you when I see ya.